Hi, I'm Anka and today I'm at the Wildwood Animal Sanctuary in Kent, somewhere located somewhere between Canterbury and Herne Bay and I'm here to test this little thing. This is a Canon PowerShot Zoom. We have a helicopter going over us and I'm here to test it out, take some pictures and see if the animals are awake. So come with me. So you might wonder what this is exactly. Well, it's a combination between a camera and a monocular, we'll say. It has four times zoom. It's an optical zoom. It has a built-in four axis stabilization. It's very small, very compact. It literally fits in my pocket. So if I'm in a place like this and it's cold and I don't want to have my hands out carrying a big camera, it just goes in my pocket. I can put my hand next to it and nobody will even know that I have it. It has a very bright viewfinder and there is a sensor there that when you take it to your eye, it will detect that you're trying to use it. It's very bright. I've been using it all day and I have no issues trying to figure out what I'm photographing. Coolest thing about this little device is not only that you can use it as a monocular and just look you know at birds and animals around you but you can also take pictures and videos with it. So in terms of the pictures it can take a picture at 12 megapixels which let's be honest if you're going to use it for your Instagram it's plenty and you can also do videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Really handy device to have, really small, fits in your pocket, really easy to use. One amazing advantage of this tiny device is that it turns on so quickly. Literally press the on button and it's on, it's ready to go. The viewfinder has the sensor, you lift that up to your eye and you're good to take a picture. It also has a silent shutter, so if you're somewhere where you don't want to disturb the animals or you're trying to capture a squirrel and you don't want to scare it, the shutter is very, very silent. You press the button, that's it. It just took a picture. You can't even hear it. And also, if you ever forget to turn it off, as I always do, it turns off on its own. Smart. Even if you don't know anything about photography or videography, you don't have to worry. Great thing is that it's fully automatic, both in terms of the focusing, it even has a tracking feature that will track the face, and in terms of like exposure and everything, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's pretty much fully automatic. All it needs is someone to have a play with. In terms of the zoom, because hey, it's called PowerShot Zoom. All you have to do is press the button at the top that says zoom and then you will move from 100 millimeter to 400 millimeter optical zoom. So the bigger the number, the closer you will get to whatever you want to photograph or capture. And it also features a digital zoom that goes up to 800 millimeters. So that would be the equivalent of about 16 times zoom. Pretty powerful for such a tiny thing. This might be important for some of you watching this. So I feel like I should mention the price. At the moment in the UK, it retails for about 260 pounds. It also comes in black as a color. So I have the white version here and it has been out for about a year now, but it's still fairly easy to find out. So if you're thinking of buying one, maybe as a Christmas present, get one. One thing you probably have noticed is that because the device is so tiny, it doesn't have a screen. But don't worry, all you need is your phone, which I bet we all have in our pockets anyway. If you have a phone, you'll be able to see the images straight away. All you need is the Canon app. So once you have the app and you connect your camera to it, all you do, you click import images and then you will see all the videos and pictures that you took with the camera on that day. Then if you want to see any of them closer, you can just click on them and they will load up straight onto your screen. Now, I do enjoy using it. It's, it. The size is very practical, but if I had to mention a couple of bad things, the button placement it can be a little bit off. You have the photo and the recording button at the bottom of the camera, and then you have the zoom at the top. So sometimes I was pressing the zoom button, hoping that I would take a picture, but I think in time, if you get used to it, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And then, if you're a photographer and you're used to using your DSLR camera or mirrorless camera or whatever camera you have and you have a big sensor and huge lenses and stuff like that, you can't really compare them to this. Quality wise, it's not going to be as 
sharp and as amazing as the ones that will come from an actual camera but as a fun thing to have and carry with you as i said considering the size and considering there are so many like bird watchers especially in kent it's a great device to have with you binocular is great but it doesn't take a picture so having this in your pocket it's great well i had a lot of fun using this today here at wildwood um, but it's really cold it's still freezing my hands are just getting so red so i think i think it's time to go home but i want to say thank you to canon for sending this to me to try out and thank you guys for watching the video like subscribe all that stuff share it with your friends and if you try this leave a comment down below and tell me how did you find it until next time